Hey guys, it's Steve Harris here at Muse Themes. We have a new widget called the Talkify widget, and Talkify is an event calendar system. So this was suggested to us by actually one of our members. He had used this system on his client's website to do an event calendar, and we really like the look of it, and there's a couple of unique options in this widget that I think you'll find really powerful. So let's take a quick look at it. I have one out on the canvas here, and if I just preview this in the browser, you can see how it looks. So basically what we end up with here is kind of this embedded calendar box and you can scroll up and down if you have a big list of events all coming up. You can search for an event, you can select a date on the calendar and when you found one you just click on the event and you can go inside and read details. Right now it's just filled with lorem ipsum, just kind of a sample calendar here but this is how it looks. Um, we also have the option to launch this calendar in a light box style pop-up using just a button and that's also included in our widget. So the first thing we're going to do uh, with most widgets like this that are built on an existing system, we need to go sign up for that system. Okay, so if we jump to the Talkify website, that's just Talkify.com, you can see here that it says add one to your website, get started for free. So this is free to use. Um, or you can sign into an existing account. I obviously have an existing account, but for the purpose of this demo, I'm actually just going to sign up for another one. So just give me a moment here and I will sign up for a brand new account. I want to take you through all of the steps involved um, from the beginning of a brand new account. So I'll sign up here and... Okay, perfect. So when you first log into Talkify, it asks you to create your first calendar and you can give your calendar a name. This is basically what you're going to be entering into Muse as the name. So for the purpose of this demo, let's just call it Adobe Muse. Now we can give the calendar a title. We'll just call this uh, Muse Sample Calendar. A website that we're going to use the calendar on, this is optional, so I'll leave that out for now. And then of course a time zone. So once you're happy with that, just click create calendar. And then we have our brand new calendar. So this is where we go in and we can add events or we can pick a theme for the calendar. And the theme is basically style control. So let's click add new event on the left side here. And the event title will just put sample event. We can add keywords, we can set the time of the event. For the purpose of this, I won't enter anything else here. I'll just do sample. You can set an image for the event and they have a little image library here. So let's select the cake. Okay, and we'll turn on RSVP, perfect. So if we're happy with that, let's click save and we'll go back. So now we have an event in our calendar. So now what we need to do is we can style our calendar. So if we click view calendar, you'll basically see how your calendar would look if somebody went to the direct link for it uh, right on your site. So up here we have edit your calendar and let's click this button because what we want to start doing is we want to style this calendar. And actually the style controls are under tools and calendar customizer. So click that. And here's where we can change some of the colors and fonts and that sort of thing within. So it has a couple of pre-made themes, which uh, are fairly basic. They just change the exterior colors of the calendar. But if you click this button here on the bottom that says edit a copy of this theme, then you have a little bit more extensive styling control. So you can select a background color for the calendar that maybe matches your brand a little bit more. We can go through and we do get a small selection of kind of the similar fonts that you have in Muse. You can't unfortunately select any font, but uh, because the calendar is usually kind of a standalone element in your site, you should have enough options here to be able to find something that's pretty close. So you could go through, style all of the font colors, font sizes, that sort of thing, um, all the link colors, all of that. So you can get pretty, pretty particular about some of the theming. And so then you just select a new theme name, we'll call this theme and save it. And let's just go back to the theme picker and right now it's set to our custom theme. So that's perfect. So now let's go use this theme and we're all finished. So that's kind of the initial setup part of the calendar. I mean, there's tons of options in here, but I'm pretty sure that you'll find it pretty easy to go through and do um, if you've ever worked with a system like this. So now we need to do the Muse component of it. And the Muse component is really, really simple as well. The one thing though that you need to kind of remember on the Talkify site is that nickname that you use for the calendar. So you can actually see it up here in the top uh, navigation bar. It says talkify.com slash Adobe Muse. That Adobe Muse is what we need to enter in Muse to link to this calendar. 
So if we go back to Muse, I'll delete out the existing widget we have in and we'll select Talkify from our toolbox widget file, drag it out on the page and I'll close this so we can see. So we have a calendar that appears right away. It's the one that I just used as a demo when I set up the widget. But right up here we have in the flyout panel, enter calendar ID. Let's put in Adobe Muse, just like we set in the calendar in Talkify. So once we do that, then it brings up a preview right here in Muse. And it says something about an event that it can't find. But keep in mind what you see in Muse right now isn't an accurate representation of how the calendar will look. So let's preview it in the browser. Okay, so when I preview this in the browser, um, it actually comes up with the same error saying that they can't find the event. I think I might know what the problem here is. Um, I use capital letters when I enter the calendar ID here. So let's try that. And there you go, the calendar works fine now. So I made a mistake that we see a ton of times in uh, su the support forums as well is uh, try and keep these calendar IDs simple and without cap capital letters at all. So that looks good now. And then you can just simply size this box to any size you need. Um, we can make it really wide, uh, or I think you can even go 100% width on these if you just drag it out so it kind of connects to the left and right side of the canvas. Let's preview that in the browser. And there, yeah, you have a full width calendar embedded. So it's a pretty slick little system, but uh, there's another cool feature that we built into this widget. And let me just make this a little bit smaller again. So if you bring out the flyout panel here, you have this calendar display mode. And right now it says embed in page, which as I'm sure makes total sense right now, you just see it embedded in the page. But what if we wanted to launch this calendar with a button? So if we uncheck embed in page and we check launch with button, what this will do is it says unable to generate preview thumbnail, but let's make this nice and small. And let's just preview it in the browser as it is right now. So we see nothing on the page, but you'll notice if I move my mouse over that area that I actually get a link cursor. So what we did is we built in the ability to kind of overlay this on any button that you create. And when you click it, you get this nice light box style pop-up that shows your event calendar. And so here's why we did it this way. Here's what I envision people doing. So I think you could make a custom button. So let's take a rectangle like this. Um, we'll just color it black for now. Let's turn off the stroke. Maybe let's put a couple of little rounded corners on it and let's put it on the sidebar, just like that. Then we could maybe put some text and say launch calendar and I'll just style that up quickly. Okay, and then let's turn it. And we're gonna overlay this on that uh, sidebar. Okay, so we've got some sort of launch calendar button. I'm just gonna make the text a little bit bigger there. Okay. And so now what I'll do is I'm gonna pin this to the top left side of the browser window, just like that. So now we've got a button that's going to kind of float up and down the site as we scroll. And now this Talkify element that we have all we need to do is we need to make sure first that this is on the top layer of the site. So I'm just going to right click on it and go arrange, bring to front. And then what I'll do is I'll just kind of overlay it over this button I've made just like that. And I'm going to pin it as well. So now it's just going to float on top. And if you preview this in the browser, you can see that the Talkify widget doesn't show up. It's just a blank image, but now this button has a link applied to it. And if you click it, it brings up the calendar and a nice style pop-up. So that's kind of why we built it this way. And this is what I imagine. Now you don't always have to pin this to the browser. You could of course just have a button on your site that was sitting somewhere in the middle like this. Um, you can do anything you want, obviously, and you could have the Talkify button sitting on top like that. So it's something that you can play around with, and I think you have a lot of flexibility in terms of how you want to launch this calendar. But I thought it was a really nice feature. Anyhow, so that's kind of this widget, and there's a lot more to it on the Talkify site, but you guys can explore through that yourselves. Let us know if you have any trouble or any questions. Uh, we've released the new support forum for you to post questions in. So we just wanted to give users an opportunity to help kind of learn from other, other users' support questions. So give it a shot if you haven't, and best of luck working with this widget. Thanks again.